Hi all, I'm D and welcome to Decode's YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Renault Nissan's 2025 hiring, especially about the technical interview experience for software engineer, software developer position. So this is for CS, uh, IT, all of that uh, software related departments, okay? And also some of the commonly asked uh, technical related question, okay, tech questions, okay? I'll also share, be sharing that in this particular video. So watch this till the end. Uh, let me go into this but before that i'd like to show you my youtube channel which is decodes so the purpose of this channel is to be useful for others who are all preparing for the interviews so that they can get to the next steps of their lives so my team and i have been consistently uploading technical interview experience hr interview experience guidance for each and every round for example if you're struggling with a particular uh, round to crack in a particular company you can refer to my channel the guide is over here and so i've introduced a new thing in my channel which is let me show you if you go to my uh, like uh, yeah, if you go over here you'll be seeing this uh, link right so click on that and if you want to become a member you sure can now so uh, members have additional benefits such as if you become a member you will be getting these badges depending upon the number of months you are becoming a member so this is for supporter supporter is only 29 rupees per month and also you'll be getting member only live chats priority reply to comments photos and status updates and everything okay and then we've got knowledge seeker so in this particular if you choose to become a knowledge seeker for only 129 you'll be getting early access to new videos member shout outs you can connect with me on social media member only videos member only live stream so whatever topic you want me to cover if you ask me i'll put a video on that okay and then if you become a pro coder it's about 1599 per month so to become a pro coder um, like you will be getting the advantages such as code review, advanced tutorial. Suppose you are struggling really with some coding, coding concept, you can ask me, I'll explain it to you. And then exclusive coding challenges for you in order to um, like crack a particular coding round and discounted merchandise when I come up with that. And then I've also got like insider. So in case of insider, it's like uh, 1999 uh, per month. So I'll be giving you one-on-one -on -one mentoring. If you're really confused with where you want to go, we can definitely take this one up. I'll mentor you and everything, okay? And then collaboration opportunities and I'll be conducting exclusive webinars for you if you become an insider, okay? Now, this is, I wanted to convey this. Now, let's get into this video, video without further ado. Okay, so first, I'll be sharing two experiences with you. So first experience, so it was about a project mentioned in resume. So always, so uh, for technical, technical interview rounds and all, resume is very important, okay? There'll be looking at your resume and they'll be asking you the questions from that okay so project mentioned in the resume especially and uh, and then if you look at it you'll be getting questions based on your programming language so if you they'll ask you uh, which language are you comfortable with it's either java or python or if you mention anything like this they'll be asking questions from that uh, not only concept conceptual questions but also coding codes basic codes here is an example okay so this one programming question it was related to printing the electricity bill using a java program in watts and units uh, so this person was given about like 9 to 14 minutes for it in order to solve this okay so this is like pro programs like this okay so the renault Nissan is actually uh, like an automotive industry company right so the coding will be related in this manner only like electrical electronics related codes only okay and then uh, they'll also be asking about the technologies mentioned in resume. For example, if you have worked with any technology such as the kind of like front-end technologies or back-end Angular, uh, React or any technologies like AI, ML, if you mentioned it in your resume, they'll be asking questions on that. So be prepared on that, okay? Resume, they'll be asking you projects and then technologies, okay? And then the languages that you've mentioned in your resume, okay? And then these kind of codes. And then followed by that, let's go to the experience too. Same thing, self-introduction. They'll definitely ask you self-introduction. You can add on to that. And then which programming language do you know? Like I was talking about it, right? So resume-based question, self-intro, followed by that programming language. And then if you mention a programming language, this particular person mentioned uh, like C plus C, C plus plus or anything. So then you, you can get questions from structure union. 
what is the difference between structure and union sometimes they might even ask the basic questions like basic questions from all the languages so what is the difference between structure and union difference between list and array so what are heap memory and stack memory so what is a string so these are all the questions these are all the questions that are asked in the previous year so do be prepared on this topics also okay so if you are a java person kindly be thorough with all concepts of java for python be thorough with the concepts of python okay so these kinds of questions you can expect and at last they'll be asking us do you have any queries do you have any questions uh, to ask for me okay so uh, in that particular thing you can for the particular question you can ask many uh, questions okay for example uh, so uh, like um, challenges faced by the uh, candidate in the particular role that you're hiring you can ask questions like that but I'd, i'll make a separate video on this okay fine now uh, let's go to the commonly asked questions okay uh, they can ask what is networking for example if you're from like uh, ec department or anything or even cse department networking is expected from you what is networking so what is the backbone network okay you need to be prepared on all of these and you will be even having LAN, MAN and WAN is actually a very common question. Okay, a very common question, LAN, MAN and WAN. And then even questions like number of networks and hosts in class A, B, C. So networking related questions. Okay. Networking related questions you can expect. Okay. So please do be prepared on these topics and all. And then uh, if, if they're taking DSA. So for pure CSIT. They'll be asking pure DSA questions such as difference between pop and push. Okay, it is performed in stack. It's a stack operation. Okay, um, a push means like uh, inserting an element into the stack. Pop means deleting the element. Okay, uh, the last inserted element will be popped first. That is, yeah, you can talk about it on the code. Okay, so when you're trying to push something, you'll have to check if the stack is overflowing. If you're popping, you have to check for stack underflow. You can talk about it. And then what is LIFO, LIFO, FIFO, LIFO is actually for stack and FIFO is actually for Q. So LIFO means last and first out, FIFO means first and first out. Okay, we can talk about that also. Now let's go to the next one. And then pure like all of this, what is a doubly linked list? Okay, so you'll be having linked list. Right, so doubly linked list means, so uh, this particular, uh, you'll be having the data over here and the address. I'm sorry and we can add the address and you can add the extra one also it will be linked both ways that is a doubly linked list okay uh, for example you can provide the examples such as um, music so Spotify music if you're trying to uh, play the lastly played music you can uh, like doubly linked list is used over there you can talk about it and then what are binary trees basic DSA question not too advanced also kind of like basic DSA questions okay so these two things you can expect and then uh, if you say C, C++ and all, uh, how do you handle exception in C++? So when you are uh, going on with a language, top to bottom, all of the language you'll have to be prepared. How, can, uh, like can you handle the exception in C++? If so, how would you handle in C++? Okay, so study exception handling if you are a C, C++ person also. Basic uh, OOP related questions such as class and an object. Okay, so class is actually like a blueprint. Uh, which will provide the data members and met methods functionalities and everything and then object is going to be uh, created for a class so uh, th this class is just a blueprint but when you create an object the memory is created so um, like uh, data is shared between uh, objects through like message passing and everything right so this is how it's going to be what do you mean by virtual function this is actually c plus plus concept right virtual function and everything so you can you need to be prepared on these kinds of topics this is just an example for you and then followed by that if you are like um, html html css if you have mentioned these they'll be asking so what is doc type in html what is alt in html do all html tags need to be closed very basic things okay only basic questions doc type in html means for example you are mentioning the document okay that is going to be a the type is going to be an html document it will be mentioned in the first itself and then okay uh, alt tag and then like uh, for a particular image or anything the alternative name that you can provide that is the alt tag so do all html uh, tags need to be closed no actually not all need to be closed okay uh, so there are other example for that I, I guess break it doesn't need to be closed i don't really remember it but 
yeah if it is html you can expect basic questions like this and then image map related to net networking maximum number of networks and hosts in class abc network see it's a repeated question i guess yeah it's a repeated question okay now let's move to the next one uh, and then followed by this you've got like um like the uh, networking part very very important like application layer all of the layers that you'll be having like tcp ip protocol tcp ip stack very very important you need to be prepared on this also if you are especially from cs or ec department or even triple e but for triple e they ask totally different things i'll be covering that in a, a separate video triple e totally correlated they might not go into this but totally correlated things only i'll be covering that so which protocols fall under the application layer of tcp ip stack okay you need to be prepared on this also and then uh, differentiate file structure from storage structure okay file structure storage structure and what is destructor in c++ okay you can expect questions like all of these okay so yeah this is it like i've mentioned the expected questions for an on is on you can be prepared on things like this so to put it in a conclusion conclusive way first of all be ready with your resume whatever you've mentioned in your resume for example the projects the language and then uh, what is that the skills okay your skills that you've mentioned the projects that you've done language everything you need to be uh, like brushing up your resume very much very very important okay followed by that whichever programming language you are choosing you need to be strong in that c or c plus plus or java be or python be very strong in that so whatever question they ask you need to be able to answer that and practice some basic coding questions followed by that um followed by this you can expect yeah this is mostly that they ask okay in hr round it will be different but i'll cover that in a different video so basically be prepared with all of this basic coding if they ask you need to be able to do that cs subjects also cs subjects for cse people cs subjects like uh, dbms computer networks computer architecture and then uh, operating system networking digital electronics you've got this okay cs subjects be prepared with this okay resume language so any one language be thorough with that okay so uh, in your project if you've used like html css javascript they'll ask questions on that totally depends upon your resume and then cs subjects okay now let me go over so first you'll be having the online assessment right and then you'll be having your technical interview for 2024 batch uh, so they divided for csit aids and all of those uh, csit departments it was separate and for non csit triple ec mec civil it was different let me talk about the csit so csit aiml aids csbs and everything so online assessment has happened and then shortlisted to the technical interview round for this technical interview round questions like this were asked okay if you clear this on the same day actually um, they were advanced to the hr interview round so in hr interview round they selected uh, okay it, it happened okay and then after that what they did was they chose like only two to three percent from the uh, csit like two to three persons only two to three persons and then um, a separate technical interview a virtual technical interview was conducted for them okay and then based on that performance the result was declared that is how it was the same went for ec triple e mec also so online assessment technical interview hr interview if you crack the hr interview again one technical interview in virtual that was uh, that was what was happening for 2024 batch you can expect the same for 2025 batch also but let's see this is the thing so whatever you prepared for this um, face to face technical interview the same will be going for like the uh, um, the same will be going for like the uh, virtual technical interview also so that's it this is all about this video i covered everything for this technical interview i hope this was useful for you i'll see you in another video till then take